The next thing I want to do is beat the Invincible Man. You know, Canelo Alvarez, he's the big one they're going on about. You know, uh, <clears throat> I'm lucky enough to have MTK uh, guiding me in there, doing everything to make sure this fight goes ahead and happens. Um, but that's the one I want because to be the best, you have to beat the best. Four division champ, also some people's top pound for pound fighter in the world, Canelo Alvarez released a video of him training. Canelo looked good, looked sharp, throwing hard punches, getting ready for a fight in September. The last time we saw Canelo in the ring, he beat Sergio Kovalov for his fourth division title. And some people believe, I'm not one of them, but some people believe he should fight anybody from 160 to 175. I personally like to see Canelo unify or become undisputed champion at super middleweight. People still deny Canelo's greatness, but if he becomes undisputed champ in a division that has David Benavides, Callum Smith, Caleb Plant, and Billy Joe Saunders, that could cement him as the best Mexican fighter ever. And not just Mexican, he'll be one of the greatest fighters ever period middleweight contender Sergio Derevchenko has offered the move of the 168 to fight Canelo I think this is a really decent fight I think Sergio Derevchenko is a good fighter he would be very competitive for Canelo for at least six to seven rounds the interesting question in this fight is can Canelo stop Derevchenko Derevchenko has never been stopped but at the end of the day I think Canelo is going to be too big and too strong for him I think eventually he stops Derevchenko. It'll be the first time Derevchenko has been stopped. According to Hopkins, who works for Golden Boy, he says Billy Joe Saunders is still a live dog to get the Canelo fight. And I think that would be a decent fight too, but I would favor Canelo. There were two other names that came up, like Willie Monroe Jr. and Anthony Durrell. And I can't forget about Colleen Smith. Colleen Smith recently said that he wants to fight Canelo, but he wants a better offer. In my opinion, the two fights I'd like to see Canelo come back and do will be Derevchenko and Billy Joe Saunders. But since it won't be a live crowd, it wouldn't surprise me if Canelo and his management team went the Willie Monroe Jr. route. And from the looks of things right now, it will be a live crowd. But September 14th is three months away. A lot could change in three months. The question I have for you, should Canelo concentrate on 168 or should he take on all challengers between 160 and 175? I'm going with 168 because that's where all the talent is. I think he's too small for 175. And everybody's talking about moving out in 160. Jamal Charles talking about going to 168. Demetrius Andre is also talking about going to 168. And that's why I'm picking 168. But leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.